Hi, Fair. Hi, Martin. Fair, you are a principal serverless specialist. I've heard that means that you spend a lot of time with businesses who are moving to the cloud. I sure do. I'd love to hear if they know about serverless and if so, what their thoughts are. Happy to share. All right, I really enjoy building serverless apps with Cloud Run, but do engineering managers and CTOs know what serverless is? Well, they look at the bigger picture. The development process passes through several stages before software is delivered to their customers. They think about how to make each step cost effective and predictable. Okay, that makes sense. Let's start with the first step, provisioning. It can be a lot of work to set up all the virtual machines needed for an enterprise application. And CTOs know that their bosses get upset if they get it wrong. If they over-provision, the business is paying too much. If they under-provision, the application doesn't run properly. One way to make this step easier and less risky is to go serverless with Cloud Run. Cloud Run scales up and down with traffic and setup is easy. CTOs like that predictability. I can see that. Uh, what about the second step in your diagram? Uh, as a developer, I really enjoy that step. Many CTOs and engineering managers don't enjoy it as much as you do. For them, this step is often a bottleneck. It's hard for them to find good developers with the right skills, coding ability, Kubernetes experience, Linux operations, etc. Yeah, well, that sounds hard. I mean, I don't know all that stuff. Right, but there is a way to streamline this step. Instead of trying to find a team of all-round developer superstars, many CTOs focus on picking a platform that makes regular developers productive. Serverless platforms like Cloud Run help here. Developers who know one or two programming languages can be productive. They don't need to be programmers and IT operations experts. Oh, good to know that there's a place for regular developers in the world. Uh, okay, what about the release step? In this step, CTOs and engineering managers are looking for increased automation to achieve faster time to market. One way to do this is to use build packs instead of Docker. This reduces the operational burden on developers while supporting enterprise operators who manage apps at scale. Uh, yeah, I know Docker, but I use build packs all the time. Anyway, it means uh, fewer moving parts in my application. Right. Build packs can also make it easier to meet security and compliance requirements without developer intervention. With Cloud Run, you can choose whether you want to use Docker files or build in build packs. If you use build packs, you can go straight from source code to production. Okay. Uh, and then there is the run step in your diagram. Enterprise applications are often complex and hard to keep running. CTOs know that the business loses money when the applications go down. For example, they might lose their ability to talk to their customers, to take orders, to charge their customers, or their employees may be forced to cite idle when enterprise application goes down. Hmm. How do they prevent those outages? CTOs know that complexity is the enemy in this step. One way to reduce complexity is to let your cloud provider handle it. Cloud Run does this by abstracting away the infrastructure and it's fully integrated with cloud monitoring and cloud logging for an enhanced operator experience. All right. Uh, thank you very much for sharing this with us today, Fair. And thank you everyone for watching. If you have questions for me or Fair, please add them in the comments. Uh, also, write in the comments if you have topics for other serverless things we should talk about in the show. Thank you for today.